King Shaka International Airport is the primary airport serving Durban, South Africa. Located in La Mercy, approximately 35 kilometers north of the city center of Durban, it opened its doors to passengers on May 1, 2010, just over a month before the start of the 2010 FIFA World Cup. It replaced Durban International Airport and uses the same IATA airport code. The airport forms part of the Dubai Trade Port, which will additionally consist of a trade zone linked to the airport's cargo terminal, facilities to support the airport such as nearby offices and transit accommodation for tourists, an integrated agricultural export zone, and an IT platform. The airport was designed by Osmond Lange architects and planners and costs about $900 million. In spite of the high cost, the airport was designed without a viewing deck and travelators. Although the large airport was built to grow the area's international services, it is also a key airport for domestic services throughout South Africa, serving the Golden Triangle between Cape Town International Airport O.R. Tambo International Airport in Johannesburg and King Shaka International Airport itself with seven passenger and two cargo airlines offering domestic air services. KSIA was the ninth busiest airport in Africa according to 2010 statistics despite not being open for the first four months. As you can see from the beginning, Gaffer Simulations King Shaka brightens up the airport. It is modeled quite nicely and includes the replicas of the cargo buildings. I really like the textures and signage used on the apron and ramps. This DLC goes for about $20 US. At this price, I would expect that the ground textures around the entrance to the airport and the surrounding ground level parking lots would be of better quality. It seems that they are the default textures and look very grainy. I've tested this before and after the latest Microsoft patch and there were no changes. There is a ground parking lot right behind the first couple of gates that looks great. It would be nice to see this with the others. I'm not sure if there was a limitation with the SDK or if there was an issue with the DLC itself but I hope that it improves in an update. Putting this aside, I would still recommend this. I gave it a 78% due to some of the ground textures. Other than that, I could see this airport moving into the 80% range once it's been updated for the ground textures. There are no interior views, which is fine. This is flight simulator, not a walking nor driving simulator. The airport also looks great at nighttime. Again, I would recommend Gaffer Simulations King Shaka Airport and also download their free Johannesburg Landmarks DLC from their website. It's only a short flight away. You can purchase Gaffer Simulations King Shaka Airport at the Sim Market. All links are in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.